What's up everybody, it's Alex and Marco the Valga Brothers. And this week we are eating our way through Paris with Alex from French Fry Cooking. Salut! Salut. France is a city of dreams. It's a city of history. It's a city of romance. It is a city of fine art and culture. It's a city where great artists come to be inspired. It is a city of great cliché. Don't do that. We're just trying to be like locals. La vie bohème. Come on, guys. Ditch the berets. Follow me, I show you the real way. Alexis, what was wrong with the last cafe we were at? Man, you just can't stop at the Notre Dame cafe. It's impossible. You have to find a proper cafe like this one, for right. example. This is a true cafe in Paris, in an old district, in the 11th district. But uh, still, we can't get the croissant in here, I think. We Parisians don't take the, the croissant in the cafe. We just go to the bakery next to it, which is a better one. And then we just sneak in with the croissant. And right. we try not to get busted by the waiter. Operation Secret Boulangerie. Let's, Let's go. Let's do it. Uh, on va prendre deux croissants et oui. deux pains au chocolat. Vous entendez, monsieur? Oui. Merci beaucoup. Merci à vous. Bonne journée. Au revoir. Merci. Does it taste better? Does it illicit? Yes. I think so. Yeah. When you're, when you're not getting arrested, it just tastes mm. so much better. Oh, oh shit, here she comes. <sighs> Parisians do it like this. When they have croissant from the bakery, they just do it like this. <coughs> what? Yeah. I'm allowed to do it. <laughs> so tell me how you spot a good croissant. First, I think you, you gotta be looking for the ears. This is called the ears. And it's the last, the best bits at the end. It should be crispy and it should be like globally golden brown, like a deep golden brown. Okay. Also, it should be a lot flaky inside. So a lot of pick, hair. When you pick it up, it should be falling all over the place. Yeah. When you so eat a croissant, it, it, you're it making a mess. It should be a mess. If it's not a mess, it's not a good croissant. Here's that. What about that? Sounds good to me. After breakfast, we hopped on public bikes and rode across town to enjoy classic Parisian lunch in the 20th arrondissement. Dude, Alex is dropping knowledge on us about the bistro scene here in Paris. Unfortunately, I think we only have a week, so we have to eat as much as we can in this short period of time. But in the end, we didn't choose a bistro. We chose a brasserie, Che Prosper, near the Place des Nations. So Alex, we hear a lot about like the Parisian bistro, but this is what, a brasserie? What's the difference? Yeah. The difference is tricky even for us, the Parisians, so I think the bistro is a little bit more expensive and the brasserie is a little bit less expensive and usually you go to a brasserie uh, for lunch. Okay, so what do you look for when you're looking for like, a good brasserie or a good bistro, what do you looking for? People. Crowded. This is nice crowded. here. We got, we got a good one here. It looks crowded. It's not just about obviously filling your belly, it's like a whole social aspect of eating here in Paris, no? I think so, totally. We, we, we do like to enjoy the meal, to take our time, like to to sip a glass of wine, you know, during the whole meal, and uh, it's more about, you know, enjoying the moment. It's not quite like going to McDonald's and getting some takeaway. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so, what do we have here? So, this is the beef tartare, the steak tartare. Wow. And it, as you see, it's unprepared. So you have to prepare it yourself. You have to go cook it, it's raw. <laughs> you have to just to mix it with the shallots and the parsley. Try not to make it a mess. This, this is the Whenever I cook in the kitchen, it's almost always a mess. So. No, don't do that. Just gently. Gently? Like a French style. I kind, of, I kind of use my hands, but I don't think it's the right, it's the right thing place to Maybe do not. Maybe not. <laughs> Why is it raw? Is, is that like a... I don't know. It's a, it's a French or? tradition. Okay. It's fresh meat, not matured meat. And it's really different, so... And, and, the, and the tartare is like a classic bistro. It's an iconic dish in Paris. Iconic. Let's just put some salad leaves on top. Like, yeah, yeah. Just to make it pretty. That's better. I think so. Maybe. <laughs> Voila! I'm sure the chef could do it better than I can, but it's, but it's good it's, enough. It's a pretty decent try. Okay, good. Here we are. Alright, bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> Is it any good? Very nice, very nice. Saint Pamal. 
Later in the day, Alex took us to the 13th district, home to Paris' Vietnamese community, one of the many groups that have immigrated to Paris from France's former colonies, making Parisian cuisine that much richer. How do all these different cultures and foods influence your cooking? Because a lot of stuff on your channel is like really international. It's not just French food. Yeah, totally. I, I think it, it would be bad to just restrict the, the, the food scene in Paris to French food. There are so many communities. You can get great Asian food and sometimes they just mix it with French stuff because basically the ingredients they have here, many comes from France. Yeah, sort of like the banh mi, right? Exactly, exactly like the banh mi. The banh mi is such a great example of the fusion between Vietnamese and uh, French food because the bread comes from France. Yeah, the beautiful the baguette. baguette yeah. The right. baguette, exactly. So they put some chili, which we don't have in France. It's like the perfect blend. Perfect. Well, enough talking about it. Let's eat. Let's go. To finish off the night, Alex invited us for a typical Parisian dessert. A bottle of fine wine and a platter of cheese. Oh, so cheese, wine. Can we get more French than this? No, I don't think so. Mm. What do you think? I love it. <laughs> I think you need your beret. I don't need it. I'm compensating with cheese and wine. Dude, for me, cheese is my Achilles heel. And a nice, good French wine is a perfect way to finish off this night. So, nice, and what do you nice. think of it? I think it's good. It's uh, you know, sometimes in Spain we drink calimochos, uh, which is wine and Coca-Cola. Yeah. Better than calimocho, thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> We've been learning a lot here with French guy cooking all night. French food, good wine, good cheese. It's a great way to end the night. So, there we go. Santé. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you click on the Eiffel Tower to check out French Guy Cooking for some simple French recipes with an international twist. All right, tell us what you guys think. French food in Paris, where to eat? Comment box below. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video, share with friends, and subscribe for new travel videos every Tuesday. See you on the road. Bon voyage. No, dude. Again? Je dis non, monsieur. <laughs> Whatever.